Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your mid-August 2020 Soul Connection in Separation Love Reading. This is for those of you who are experiencing a deep soul connection with someone you may or may not have been in a relationship with them. Um, you're currently separated. There's likely no communication between the two of you. And there's just something very different about the way you feel, the way you connect with this person. And no matter how hard you try, you just can't get them out of your mind or your heart. If that is not your story, if you're looking for new love, then this is definitely not your reading. It is going to be general and the energies can be reversed. So please keep that in mind. If you would like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below. You can click on the link and be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. When booking, please put in the notes whether you want a phone reading, Zoom, which is recordable, or a pre-recorded. If you'd like pre-recorded, just know those readings are not delivered the day of the appointment, usually a few days later, depending on my schedule. Um, when booking a pre-recorded, also put in the notes your zodiac sign, your person's name, their zodiac sign, and a brief description of what's going on between the two of you. Very much appreciated. Saves me time from following up with you. Okay. Thank you. Let's get going, Taurus. All right. So the first card that came through is don't let pride get in your way. So if your person reaches out to you or you're wanting to reach out to them and you're letting pride, your pride stop you because of what something that happened in the past, this is something for you to look at. And we have this energy of gratitude and appreciation. We've got two cards, great gratitude and appreciation. And this is really about appreciating this connection despite the difficulties. If you look at this card, this woman is amongst these bramble bushes. And to me, it's like, you know, we can, we can enjoy the beauty. We can appreciate the beauty of the rose despite the sticky thorns that it has nobody's perfect you included myself included we're all human beings and so it's really about appreciating this bond that you have appreciating all the blessings that come to you despite the obstacles it's through the obstacles and the challenges that we grow you guys okay beautiful energies and we've got a creative endeavor so for some of you if you are artists um, this is about moving deeper into that energy if you're not an artist this is just about being creative in life the way you approach things the way you experience things don't get stuck in a mindset. Open yourself up to your imagination and let it run wild. The final two cards that we have are new experiences and possibilities and keep your dreams alive. So this goes beautifully with um, great gratitude, appreciation, and creative endeavor. This is about um, whatever, despite what is happening within this connection, it doesn't mean that your dream that you have to give up on your dreams. It's just about focusing on yourself, leaving this connection out of it. It doesn't mean that you're giving up on the dreams that you have with your person, but this is asking you to have individual dreams because spirit has new experiences and possibilities for you, okay, as you go on this journey. Beautiful, very positive. So let's see how your person is feeling about you, viewing this connection. What do we need to know? I just saw the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun and the Fool. The Ace of Cups. So they definitely want a new beginning with you. They may be wanting to come forward to you. Um, you guys, there's a, there's a major changing of the guard. There's 
a lot of karmic resolution, there are big changes coming up. And, you know, the readings that I've been doing lately, it's like people are starting to come into union. And what I mean by that is, no, maybe they're not dating and, you know, moving in together and getting married, but they're starting to communicate again. I am reading comments on my channel. I'm also hearing comments from other readers that I follow. So it is happening. So just have faith. Um, we've got the Seven of Cups after the Ace of Cups. This is their energy towards you. They could be a little bit confused, a little unsure. This is a very daydreamy energy as well. So they could be really fantasizing about what this new beginning would look like. And we've got the death card. This is interesting. This is about profound change, transformation. So I just feel like your person has really been going through some changes and releasing those things from the past that were holding them back and holding this connection back. And then we've got the Ten of Cups. And so what they're really wanting, what they're really fantasizing about is they're really in a place of hoping that the changes that they've made can really bring about this new beginning that is going to lead to this Ten of Cups. And that's the happily ever after. That's the divine love card, you guys. We've got material world. And we've got Divine Masculine. So for those, this could, if you're a Divine Masculine, if you relate to this term, this is your person seeing you as a counterpart. And if you are a Divine Masculine, this is really your person wanting you to come forward into the physical realm. I hope that makes sense. I hope I said that right. But this is really great uh, great energy. With the death card coming through, I feel um, just based on everything that's been happening energetically, so many of the divine masculines are really, really leveling up. They're ascending. They're making changes. They're maturing. Any of the Seven of Swords, Five of Swords energy, they're leaving behind. They're really growing into themselves. It's a beautiful thing. Let's see where they're at on their journey. The Eight of Wands, they are ready to move forward. They're ready to communicate with you. That is under the Ace of Cups. We've got the Three of Pentacles, and this is the under the Seven of Cups. Um, there could have been a third party situation for some of you guys, and they may want to explain that to you. Um, wh why they stayed, what was going on for them. If it wasn't a third party situation, then what I'm feeling is your person really wants to work together, to build something together. They want this new beginning. They want to collaborate with you and build things step by step. They want a solid foundation. And we've got the Ten of Wands under the Death card. So two endings, two endings, one in the physical realm, one in the spiritual realm is what I'm feeling. So they're ready to lay down those burdens. They're ready to release these things. I feel like they've already done a ton of work on themselves. And then we've got the Queen of Wands under the Ten of Cups. And the Queen of Wands is um, very, very attractive, very alluring, warm, very confident, somewhat intimidating. And th ultimately, they are, they are trying to make their way back to you, the Queen of Wands. This is how they're seeing you. It does not matter if you are a man or a woman watching this, but she, she can be a little intimidating. 
Um, this could be why they're really in this daydreamy energy. They may be a little fearful of coming towards you. And then we've got healing. And this is under a material world. So I feel like in this physical realm, they are doing a lot of healing. And we've got nostalgia under the divine masculine. <clears throat> so this is... This is your person longing to be with their divine counterpart, and that's you. This is about wanting reunion. This is the same as the Six of Cups for me. They're dreaming of the day that you guys can be together. So let's see what's challenging them right now. Where they are potentially blocked grief they still need to clear out that heart chakra do some healing on that um, because they're they could have some regret but they are still in pain within their heart chakra and then this is interesting we've got the release card this is related to the seventh chakra this is consciousness enlightenment and you know with the death card, these these two cards go together beautifully because this release is about releasing the past and moving forward and not letting um, disappointments and obstacles hold you back. It's about embracing the new and just believing, you know, in what's possible, keeping your dreams alive. This is beautiful but this is a bit of a blockage and with the death card coming through they are working on it so they're making great strides they're making great strides you guys we've got the three of wands under the ten of wands and so and the death card so i feel like your person is in a very decisive energy but it's almost like they're waiting to see the results and they haven't seen the results that they're truly, truly wanting just yet. We've got the King of Pentacles. Um, with the Material World card coming through and the King of Pentacles, this is a challenge. So, and it's under the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups. They may be feeling like they don't have everything in order just yet. Like they want to be very solid and stable and have everything just so before they come towards you to offer you this new beginning that's going to lead to this this ten of cups so they're just they're working on getting it together that's what i'm feeling but they're making a lot of progress and then we've got reinvention and new direction yeah so this is a challenge and an obstacle but this is something that they're working on okay they, they're still, you know, trying to release some things, any grief that they're feeling, any resentment or disappointment from the past, but they're in a determined energy to really reinvent themselves, become this stable, loyal, committed, um, abundant person that can be depended on. Let's see what the cards want to say. These are messages from your person. This is my In the Shadows deck by All Things Intuitive. These can be a little triggering. So I just want to forewarn you. Ooh, we are more alike than I admit. Interesting. You can't come where I'm going. Oh, that is fascinating. So what I'm feeling is they're on a journey. They're on a journey of self. They're on an inner journey and they're just saying, I need to do this alone. I need to do this by myself and you can't come with me. We can't be together while I'm doing this and that's why it's taking me so long. I hope you're happy for me. This is about the changes that they're making. This is, this is really about them hoping that you don't take it personally, that they're not in touch with you. At that moment, I just didn't care. So I'm feeling that something went down between the two of you, obviously. They may have walked away. They may have said some things. Um, 
something like that. And in that moment, they were just so frustrated, triggered, whatever, that they just didn't care. So there may have been some careless words spoken. That's going to be different for each and every one of you. Let's see what else wants to come through. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. I care too much about what others think right now. And you're all I've ever wanted. So they are definitely thinking of you with this nostalgia and a lot of signs are pointing to you lately. And yes, they do want this 10 of cups. They're realizing that they know that with, I care too much about what others think right now, this might be a conditioning a belief system that they need to release. Maybe you're not their usual type. Maybe there are um, issues with um, your family or their family not liking the, the counterpart, something like that. And so this is something that they are still needing to release. This is something that they're working on. I know I messed everything up. That's them definitely taking responsibility. And finding out the truth crushed me. So there's something that they found out that was very crushing. And it could have been a belief system, something about themselves. It could have been something about you and your past. It's going to be different from for any for everyone. You came closer than anyone. And yeah, with this, you're all I've ever wanted and you came closer than anyone. It's like you are a dream come true for them. And they're realizing this. And this is why they're willing to put this work in. They want to let you in, but they've got to just continue this healing and open up their heart chakra a little bit more. This is a message from spirit to you. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So this is telling you that yes, your person's healing, but there's some healing that you need to do as well. So focus on yourself and, you know, keep your dreams alive and, and don't stop your life because of this person. Don't give up on your goals and your dreams because this connection isn't coming together. It's important for the two of you to go on your separate journeys right now. That's why you're in separation. It's important to go for your dreams. What makes you happy? That is, you know, the dreams that are separate from this connection. What goals do you have? Do you want to go back to school? Do you want to change careers? Do you want to relocate to another city, another state, another country? Whatever it is, keep your dreams alive and focus on yourself. We've got true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And we've got denial, detach with love to clearly see the truth. And I really feel this is about you um, possibly having a tight grip on this connection and focusing too much on this connection and the outcome and not focusing enough on your dreams. We've got patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. So right now it's not time. It's not quite time, even though your person really wants this new beginning, they really want to communicate with you and come forward. They're doing their work and spirit wants you to do your work as well. So let's see what their intentions are. Well, they want a new beginning with you. That is for sure. So we've seen two aces, the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. Those are amazing because that represents, you know, the, the physical realm 
and the heart space. And then we've got the page of wands and we did see the 10 of wands. And this is like a new chapter after that cycle ends. And so it's, you know, the wands are very creative, exciting energy. And so they're really wanting an exciting new beginning with you. But we've got the two of pentacles. They're kind of going back and forth about it. It's not that they don't want it. It's just they're feeling a little fired up and they're wanting to communicate with you even though they know it's not quite time. They're not quite ready. And we've got six of pentacles. This is about balance. It's about reciprocity. It's about a successful partnership to me. That's how I read this card. And so they're wanting to give to you. They're wanting you to give to each other. They want things ba balanced between the two of you. And, you know, a reason that these connections don't work out in the long term is because there is a lack of balance. One person is always giving too much in the connection or they're more invested in the connection. And that's, you know, one of the reasons that these connections do not survive. Whoa. We've got destruction, which is like the tower and balancing the scales, which is like justice. And we've also got received and separation. And so what I'm feeling is through the separation, they've been receiving signs, they've been receiving lessons, um, learning lessons about, you know, their heart, what's in their heart, how they truly feel, the pain that they need to heal. And with destruction and balancing the scales, I just feel like there was divine intervention to, you know, break this apart so that it could be rebuilt and justice will be brought to the situation. They, they're having sudden realizations about everything that happened and they're understanding their part. They're understanding what they need to do to come into that King of Pentacles energy which they're determined to do. And they want to bring you justice in this situation. They do want to rectify things. They want to bring balance in. So let's see what's in their heart. <clears throat> the Knight of Cups. <laughs> they definitely, definitely want to come towards you. The Ace of Swords. This is about a breakthrough. It's about truth and communication. And it is a new beginning as well. The truth will set you free. And so they're going to come to you. They're going to express themselves. And they're going to bring you the truth. They're afraid. They are definitely afraid to speak their truth. This is what's in their heart. They're afraid to speak their truth. They're afraid of rejection. And we've got the two of wands. So they are really planning what to say to you, how to say it, when to say it. This is the energy that they're in. What is the best approach? Guide. This is like the hermit. So they're soul searching. Recognition. They recognize this deep bond with you that you are all they've ever wanted and we've got the divine feminine here this is what's in their heart so you guys we've now got a match we've got the divine masculine and the divine feminine i want to get one more card for what's in their heart space but they definitely want to come towards you <clears throat> fear yeah that already came through with the devil they're afraid to speak their truth Let's see what a potential outcome is. Six of Wands, victory. King of Cups, mastery. I like it. So we've seen two kings. 
Um, <clears throat> you know, the King of Cups is about emotions, intuition, and so I feel like your person, they're very, very much in their feelings for you. Um, so in the outcome, I feel like they are going to, when they come to you, one of the things that they're working on right now is mastering their emotions and not like getting all engulfed in them. So it's, it's an energy of kind of holding back and, but, but it helps them feel steady. It helps them feel confident if they can learn how to master their emotions and not get overwhelmed by this grief and this fear. And so this is something that they've been working on. Um, but there's deep love here. And so when they come to you, it's, it's almost like they want to express their feelings without getting too emotional, without letting the fear um, overtake them, override you know, what's in their heart. This is what I'm feeling. And we've got the five of swords. So there is some mental conflict and this goes right along with the fear. Um, but then we've got the king of wands. So we've got two kings in the outcome. So this is very powerful energy. One of them is emotional and the king of wands is, is very passionate. So beautiful energy. It's like fire and water. Um, with the King of Wands, it's like that is a very determined energy. It's like this, this dude goes for what he wants and he gets it. And it doesn't mean that it's a man, you guys. It's just energy. Okay, the, the mental conflict that needs to be overcome, there's a crossroads about removing the mask because of these inner child wounds. Um, there's a crossroads about taking that mask off, being vulnerable, and revealing themselves to you. This is where they're at. That's why they're mentally conflicted. That's why the fear is coming through. Um, but they do want to overcome this, okay? So they're working on this right now. And we've got the fifth dimension card. It's almost like it's easier for them to just stay connected to you in the fifth dimension versus the physical realm um, because of these fears coming through, but that's not really what they're wanting. They are wanting to come towards you in the physical realm, uh, express themselves and really speak their truth and yeah share what's in their heart so you guys it looks very positive and i wouldn't be surprised if some of you are hearing from your person soon so i hope this resonated if it did please like share subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to be notified the next time i upload <clears throat> and thank you for joining me today i'm sending you guys lots of love Bye bye